Proverbs chapter 8, uh, verse 22, and you'll read through uh, chapter 9, verse 6. Brother Clement. Jehovah produced me as the beginning of his way. The earliest of his achievements of long ago, from ancient times I was installed from start of times earlier than the earth. When there were no deep waters, I was brought forth. When there were no springs following, overflowing, overflowing, sorry, overflowing with water. Before the mountains were set in place, before the hills, I was brought forth when he when he had not yet made the earth and its fields or the first clods, clods of earth's soil. Then he prepared the heavens. I was there when he marked out the horizon on the surface of the waters when he established the clouds above when he founded the fountains of the deep, when he set a, a degree, when he set, when he, yeah, when he set a degree for the sea, that is water, that its waters should not pass beyond his order. When he established the fountain, fa foundation of the earth, then I was beside him as a master worker. I was the one he had especially fond of day by day. I rejoiced before him all the time. I, re I rejoiced over his habitable earth and I was especially fond of, of the sons of man. And now my sons listen to me, yes, happy, are those who keep my ways. Listen to just dis, dis, listen to discipline and become wise and never neglect it. Happy is the man who listened to me by coming early to my doors and day by day by waiting next to my door's post. For the one finding me will find will, will find life and he and he receives approval from Job. But the one who ignores me harms himself and those who hate me love death. True wisdom has built its, its house. It has carved out its seven pillars. It has fully prepared its meat and it, it has mixed its wine it has also arranged its table. It was sent out. It sent out its female servants to call out from the heights above, above the city. However, how, whoever is inexperienced, let him come in here. She said, says to the ones lacking good sense. Come eat my bread and share in drinking the wine that I have mixed. Leave behind your inexperience and live, walk forward in the way of understanding. Well, we want to thank you, uh, Brother Clevenger, for your uh, reading tonight. You did, you did well. You made a concerted effort in, in this reading, and that's what we, uh, we all look forward to, is uh, ones that make a big, big effort in, in reading the Bible. And uh, we appreciate that. Now, there were certain things that I, I really appreciated, uh, to be specific, and one was uh, appropriate pausing. Now, there, there was many opportunities here to, to show how to do uh, appropriate pausing. Uh, you, you, you may have noticed all the commas, all the periods. Uh, there was many of them in, in, this, in this reading. 
So it gave opportunity to, to work on that. And I noticed, and, and some of them you did real well. So keep up the good work. Uh, it takes effort. And, and here's the reasons why. When, when you uh, work on appropriate pausing, uh, it says here it's uh, the importance of it. It says proper use of pausing is an important factor in speech that can be readily understood. However, no, notice what it says here. It mentions uh, how to do it in the bottom. It says give special attention to punctuation. And that's what we're talking about here, the commas, the periods. And listen carefully to well-qualified speakers. So as you continue to grow in, the, in, in, this, uh, in this school, listen to others that do well in, in, in public speaking. And you'll, you'll find that uh, pausing will, will be just uh, part of your speech. So keep up the good work. Now we'd like to get into...